Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am back with the last video of the Loaded Envelope series. This is episode number seven, the last video in this series. So tomorrow we will be putting it all together and you will see the whole reveal, everything in its entirety. And we will be announcing the seven winners of the dies tomorrow. So be sure to stay tuned. Quick note about how that will go. I will uh, pick a winner from every video via random.org. It will go fast. I won't keep you long. So we'll do the whole, um, you know, put everything together and show you how everything looks all together. All the links for all the videos will be in the description box so you guys can see how everything was made. So um, if you are a winner, you would have to comment on that video um, under your YouTube um, name so that I know that you are that person because when I did it via email before it was a disaster honey people was creating accounts to claim they were the winner so you have to comment under that name that I have pulled um, via the video so that's how that's going to work so to prove that you are that person and I will reply via that video so we'll just have a communication via that video under that YouTube name so that's how that's going to work and then um, answer me this question. Do you guys want to know who the loaded envelope is for? So if it were you and you were the winner, not the winner, but if you were the recipient of this loaded envelope that I am doing this for, would you want to know tomorrow that this is your envelope? Or do you want to know in the mail when you get it? I'm just curious. She doesn't really watch. She hasn't commented at all, but she may be lurking. I'm not sure. But would you want to know? I'm just curious. Or did you want to get it be as a surprise? So moving on, because we got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm going to try to pack this last little doodads things in this video. So we're going to quite do quite a few things today. Um, rounding out the passport, pink passport, paper studio, Hobby Lobby is what we're using throughout this whole series. I used a little bit of the Prima Epiphany in one of the projects in one of the episodes. We are going to use for this particular thing, we're going to use the corner chopper, any hole punch or do. I'm going to use some seam binding. We're going to need a tiny little piece of chipboard. I'll give you the measurements when we get to it. Uh, two hole reinforcers. A wrapping packaging of some sort. This is uh, some clear bags. I got these from Tuesday morning. And a while ago, people always ask where I get the clear bags. They are always from Tuesday morning. I'm going to use some spray. This is Dilutions Ink Spray from... Um, I forget where I got this from, but um, it's in black marble. You need the usual suspects, wet glue, uh, paper trimmer, scoreboard, bone folder. Um, yep, that's it. Or dry glue. I'm going to use these jury stop in. Um, these are the jury stop plastic markers. And then some beads. We're going to make some stick pins. We're going to make a couple stick pins. It's not nothing that I normally would make, um, but I'm, I think I'm going to make a little, uh, I know I'm going to make a pair. I think that would add something to this loaded envelope. So come on and craft and chat with me. All right, I am using a an ephemera page from the collection. I'm going to use this macaroon up here. And then I got this piece of heavyweight chipboard and I'll put a link in the description box of where I get this chipboard from. I get it off of Amazon. This is in black this time. It's heavy duty. Um, as you guys can see, I've been painting. Uh-huh. Yep. So um, this chipboard is cut at two by um, three and three quarters. So I am just going to cover it just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a rough cut of this right around here because it fit perfectly and I thought it would add a cute little background to the stick pins isn't that cute I thought it was so I'm going to use my wet glue to cover this this is just going to go on the back whoa this is just going to go on the back I'm going to place it center as I can get it. Okay. 
I'm going to cut this down to four and three quarters by two. Okay. Get a piece of black cardstock and cover this, put this on top so we can add some stability. And then I hope that this works because I really just don't want it to be all one color but we'll see if not we'll just use the black car stock and just keep it moving instead of using this thick piece i'm going to use this thinner car stock i think that would be better put it on top of there there we go and i'm going to cut around it so I back this piece of cardstock. Again, this is two by four and three quarters, and we have the chipboard, which is two by three and three quarters. So we're going to take our scoreboard, and we're just going to score this piece: half inch, one inch, one and a half, and two. I'm just going to go over it once more, just to give it a good crease. Okay, and then we're just going to give that, so this one, two, three, four, there's four score marks. It should be, it should lay down. So this bottom one is going to go towards you and then back and then towards you and then back so that we can create a little thing that'll look like this like that and that's gonna lay on top like such just like that see so then you want to add your glue I'm gonna start at this bottom piece Line that up to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna I'm just doing that bottom half. I'm skipping this whole middle section here. And then I'm just going to line the top up and see where my mark is. That's where I want to glue. And I'm just gonna add glue just on this top half. I'm skipping all the rest of these score marks. So I'm just adding glue on this top whole square. Just like that. But I'm going to line it up at the top and lay it down. Okay. So that's done. And then this is the back. Okay. So now let's work on the stick pin. And I got my little unorganized organized boxes here. Don't laugh, please. <laughs> so it's been a while since I made some stick pins, but I'm going to do some really quick ones. They're not going to be too fancy. Let's see. This one is little beads like little circle beads and it's like I said it's not really organized but I know that I want to do some simple ones and I could just do let me find the pins first um, I don't know why those dominoes are in there they're there for decorations I need some pins I have these faceted pins I have some little ones oh, I have a pearl pin in here Oh, these are so tiny. I think I have a pearl pin. Here. Here's a oh good. Here's two long pearl pins. Oh, that's not a pearl. Oh here, here go one. Ah yes. Okay. I'm gonna make two pearl pins and then I have some blue beads. I want to try to match them. Let's start with some bead caps. We got some black bead caps. I know I have a plethora of them. So I know I'm gonna do 
two B caps, top and bottom. One, two, so that means I need four B caps. One, two, three, four, one, two. This is gonna take me forever. I may pause this, and so when I come back, it may sound like I've had a conversation and you don't know what I'm talking about, because I may pause it and come back. So bear with me, because this, this is like watching paint dry, me doing this, but we'll see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then centers. Maybe I'll do that's that blue doesn't match. I wish I had so here's some aqua ones. If I had here's a cream one. We don't really we have some cream. Maybe I'll do a cream and no, I want them to match. Um here's another aqua. You know what? Maybe I'll do here's three aqua ones. Maybe I'll do if I had one more. Oh good. Okay. Yes. I have four aqua ones. That's what we'll do. Okay, four aqua ones, and then I'll be back. I think I have an idea. So we're gonna do this long bead. Wait, let's see, I already. And then we're gonna do this tiny little, I don't know, spacer. And then we're gonna do this silver-ish metal B cap. It's black, kind of. And then this large, it's a really pretty, oh, I'm off camera. It's a really pretty, like a Tiffany color um, aqua. It's a really pretty blue. And then ended with a, <coughs> excuse me, a cap. Okay, I'm going to mold that to that. And I have this really pretty, okay, so I'm going to mold that on there. I think that's what you do. Ouch. And then I'm going to get some, a little bit of this uh, glossy accent and put a little, a little dot on there in between and then put this spacer, so silver spacer on there and then another B cap and then another big bead really cute and then another B cap that's how it's looking and then another glossy accents dab dab and then a tiny little one of these things cute right Ouch. Keep sticking myself. I think that's a cute pen. Isn't that a cute pen? Don't you think? I think so. And then I'm going to end it with one of these um, eraser eraser earring things. right through there so they'll stay on there and the glossy accents is on there so they'll glue on there eventually and stay uh, stay and then I'm going to do the other one the same way these are so cute let me close this up and put them on here okay Just push this down too far and then I'm going to put some at the bottom of this as well just to protect when the recipient gets it one on each So that they don't get stuck. Isn't that cute? 
Okay, we're going to put it in the packaging now. I have to cut it down. And then we can add the tape. I'm going to add some double sided tape to this. It's kind of it's clear so you can't see it. I hope. Make the packaging more na narrow. Okay, and then we can fold it down. I really wanted that side to show. I really wanted this side to show. Maybe I will. I don't know. I wanted to do the seam binding and paint it and show it on this side with the macaroons. I think I will just be a little different. I'm going to take this out, turn it around. Let's see. Let's be a little unorthodox today and see how it works. I'm going to turn it around, face it backwards. Okay. Cut this down a bit. Fold it over. Okay. I'm going to add some holes right there and there. Okay. And then we're going to add hole reinforcers. This may not work because, like I said, it's really late at night slash early in the morning. And sometimes my ideas don't work the way that I plan them. I'm going to leave this here for a moment so that they match up when I come back. All right. And then I'm going to cut off some of this seam binding. I get this is chalk white seam binding. I get this off of... I got this off of... Where did I get this from? eBay a while ago. I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. And I'm going to spray it with this black ink spray. I'm going to do that and I will be back. Alright, the seam binding is all done. Really cute, rich, dark color. So, I'm not going to use all of this, but... When I spray, I usually spray a little extra, especially if I have um, a little bit of the project left to do and, you know, have some extras left to fill in. So I'm just going to tie this through and pull it through this hole. I'm going to cut off this extra. Tie this. Tie this down. I just wanted to mimic that tie on the macaroons and then I have some pink oh my god fingers and then I have some pink middles that I wanted to add to that to tie in I have this pink that's too big I think I have this I think that looks cute I'm gonna tie this a little shorter this pink butterfly I haven't used a butterfly at all I have this cute little button 
That's cute. So it's between this button and this rose. Which one do you guys think? I know some of you are answering me. You said you are. Are you saying button? Are you saying rose? Which one are you saying? Yep, I heard rose too. Thank you. And then that's the one you're going to put down there. We're going to put the rose in the middle. There we go. Right there. Let's tighten this up a bit. All right. There we go. I'm going to leave that like that. The pins are on the back, but I'm going to leave that like that. That is project one. Let's clean this off and get ready for number two. Project number two. <laughs> All right, guys. This one's a super fun project that you're going to be able to use forever and ever because you remember. Okay. So you know how you get those letters that you they're ugly chipboard letters but they're the perfect size and you need a project uh, you need letters to spell out something on a project or a layout or a mini album or whatever so these are the tim holtz uh, resist chipboard letters you're supposed to be able to put um, ink and stuff on them to color them up and things like that i've never done the craft resist and i think i got these from uh tuesday morning i believe i can't remember but i like the size of these and they're very sturdy but I also have some really not so cute, colorful chipboard, pais paisley and damask chipboard letters that I have that are really nice and sturdy too. But what I do with them when I do use them is paint them. But I also like to add shimmer, which you can do with nail polish. You can do um, uh, you can do with glossy accents and you can sit and you can wait for them to dry. Or you can bring out your oldie but goodie. Do you know what that is? Yes look do you remember this the melting pot <laughs> yes we're gonna play with that and bring out an old favorite so i am going to accent my um loaded envelope by personalizing the recipient's name with uh, a few of her uh letters of her first name so if her name is Barbara, I'm going to put Barb. Um, you know, if her name is Kathy, I'm going to put Katie, you know, that kind of thing. So and just have it popped up on some of these sticks that we have. These are from the Dollar Tree, these little thin sticks. You can use popsicle sticks. You can use toothpicks. So I am going to grab a sheet of random scrap paper and I'm going to paint the stick with some uh craft or it's not some craft some black paint and which i have already been doing i've already done the person's name obviously because my fingers are well the paint that i just did but my fingers are already nasty from the paint because <laughs> i've already done her name but i want to show you guys how to do it or what i did to it um so you can do it too so if you haven't used this melting pot in years bring it out bring out some of those old things that we haven't touched in a long time the distressor i haven't used my distress at all in a while i i've been bringing that out so bring out some of those tools that we loved and um make something old new again and play with it and you know just see what you can do add some some new stuff to your some old stuff to your new projects so what i'm doing is painting this craft stick so that it can uh, match my loaded envelope and which is what I did and like I said I've already done her name on here it was four letters that I did already so I'm just gonna pick another little random letter to show you guys what I did so I did one coat and then I'm gonna hit it with the heat tool and then I did another coat so I'll be right back okay so I've coated my stick twice look how rich and dark that is so I'm just gonna grab a letter out of here this is L no F so are you also gonna need some embossing tint or glitter I'm gonna use this embossing tin tinsel because it's super fine and this is what I use on the other letters and it has a really pretty glitter uh, fine silver that I like course you need your UT that's what we use in our melting pot and this is um, 
fully loaded with my UT. It's been sitting over here the whole time, so I'm going to turn it around this way. My UT is kind of dark over there. So, what you want to do is take a little bit of your paint. If you don't like the color, obviously, we don't want it this color. We want to match it to, I pour too much paint every single time. We want to match it to whatever color the project is. In this case, I want to match it to the black one. So you want to coat this a couple times to match your project. So you want to coat it and then, um, whoops, just coat it one time and then dry it and then coat it again. So I will do that and then I will be back. All right, that took all of one minute to do three coats. It dries really, really fast. So then you want to take some type of utensil. I'm going to use these just tweezers, pliers to stick my, my letter in this UT and to give it a coat. Stick it in there and then I'm going to grab it out of there. Reap it off and then set it down ah, whew. set it down and let it dry and then while it's drying I'm gonna take a sprinkle of my tinsel and get that glitter on there I may have let it fall in there too long because I've dropped it by accident but let that sit and dry only takes a few seconds but you want to hold on to it while it's in there. You just want to dip it. And then I want to get it off of this one space so it doesn't freeze to this to that paper. So it doesn't stick. Just move it around. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that F looks. So shiny. So, so pretty. So then at this point, I want to flip it over and grab my stick. And I'm going to add some hot glue off camera over here. Add it to my stick on the back. And then I can put that in my loaded envelope but you want to cut it off I guess you can cut it off wherever and then stick it on there as high as you want it to go and you can just have this you know spell it out the recipient's name throughout or spell out hello or love or whatever you want to put on here throughout the mini um, the loaded envelope so that is such a super cool idea so I've done that already with the recipient's name but I wanted to share with you um, this idea and again you could use glossy accents and let this sit overnight just make sure you add your little glitter and then leave it alone you can even add fingernail polish and let it set um, just remember if you're doing that if you're doing this and you let it sit how, how I did I let it sit too long be sure to like this dries fast and hardens quick make sure you clean off your little bubbles they clean off quite easily if you can't do it if you can't get them off like this um, just hit it with your heat tool. It'll come off quite easily, but just clean up your letters There and you're done. Look how cute that is. All right, let's clean this off and go to the next project All right, the next thing we're going to do is to decorate this um, Envelope and it's going to be simple since it is so loaded. I don't want to and can't fit any super large embellishments or bowls or anything on it so I am simply just going to follow the outline with this um, double trim so and this is going to be super quick so I'm just going to use some hot glue and follow this along and the idea I had with this um, I was going to use I was going to use some what was I going to use I was going to use this fun teardrop trim and then line it with or teardrop uh, lace and then line it with some trim 
what am I trying to say? I was going to use this lace and then line it with some Tim teardrop trim, but it is too bulky for what I have loaded in here. You guys know that there's a lot of stuff in here that we've done so far and it's just not going to work. It's going to look way too bulky for that. So I am just going to load it, not load it. I am just going to layer it with this bling trim that I got on this little thread thing here and I'm going to follow it along very simple it's still classy and I don't even know if I should even record this part I guess we can just we can just chat because the darn glue gun won't fit but it's still classy I'm going to keep it simple so it follows it along but it's um very simple because we just we just overloaded our pocket here but I want you guys to think about what I asked in the beginning which is is if you would like to know like when I do the reveal video tomorrow would you guys like for me when I do the reveal video would you guys like for me to announce what it um Who's it for? And I might do this series again. You guys are giving some great ideas um, for other or future loaded envelopes, things to put in that I wouldn't like. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. You guys are also giving some great ideas for swap. Somebody wanted to swap a traveler's notebook. I thought that was a that was an interesting idea. Would that be something you guys would want to swap? Just curious. I mean, how many travelers notebook would you? I mean, I mean, you guys would have like four different, because it'd be like maybe groups of five. You have four different travelers notebooks. I don't know. Might that seems like a lot. I don't know. I have notebooks everywhere, so I can't even. I can't call it. So <laughs> I don't know. Leave it below. This is like a whole survey video. It's like 10 questions in this video. You guys have homework. <laughs> so a little uh, tip. See how there's extra little. That's so cute. It kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman. So Jacinia, if you're watching this, who is Creative Eyes Time 3, I think it's her YouTube name. I always forget it. For some reason, I always want to throw like sexy eyes in there for some reason. But, um... She loves Wonder Woman is what I was going to say. But to get rid of these glue strings, just hit it with the heat tool and then dab it with your finger. It melts it and then you can just pull it away. It'll clean up those edges really nicely because I don't like to see them. I don't like getting them. It bothers the heck out of me. There's one in here that is really driving me nuts. There we go. And even if you can't get it out of there, just let it dry, you know, like that. And then don't touch it. Just leave it be. I hope you guys could hear me through all of that. How cute is that? And then I have this little trim. I was thinking about putting it right there. I think that is so cute. Let me see where I'm going to cut it. Yeah, let's see if I put it there. I don't have enough for the two bows on the end. So I'm going to have to cut the thing off. And I honestly cannot even tell you where this came from. But I do know that D, who is Elegant Embellishments, she carries some really pretty blingy different kinds of trim and really pretty things you guys can definitely check her out i don't know if this came from there from her but she does um carry some really pretty stuff so check her out elegant embellishments she didn't pay me to say that i am not on her design team and uh yeah so hey d um but yeah check her out she does have some really nice stuff in case you guys are looking for that um but yeah i think that's really cute oh should i do two i already put glue on it that doesn't look right let's see if it looks right now oh i better take the glue off because if i stick it it's going to be ugly i'm going to take the glue off and then 
put it on there and see how it looks because there's no dip for that so let's see if I put it right there how that would look let's just see if I put it there I put it right there that's kind of cute though we'll put it there because there's no there's really no dip and we can't put it there because then that's odd this is too low for it to hang so we can just put it there Ooh, I almost messed up guys not paying attention that's super cute so I am gonna quick give it a spritz with my homemade shimmer I will put a link in the description box if I don't please remind me I have a tutorial it's old but same concept and that's it so I'm gonna quick do a shimmer on this and I'll be right back all right there's my shimmer envelope got some droplets on here that I need to take care of that I don't like all right look what I did to my paper I set that dang top down from that melting pot Ugh. and then here's a droplet right here <sighs> gotta get a new mat anyway so we covered the envelope today that's the back oh, I'm gonna add some shimmer to that I may add shimmer to this one too there's a shimmer to that we added shimmer to the front then we created some stick pins but it's gonna go in the pocket like that and then I showed you how to ways that you can personalize the loaded envelope with these cute little picks so I think we did a lot today. I was going to attempt to make a card. In fact, I already started cutting out the chipboard, but this video is already long enough. I may make a card and add it to the end. Otherwise, I may just show you when I do the reveal video. So, um, so tomorrow is the reveal video. We will announce the winners and um, let me know all the questions down below. Answer the little survey things that I got going on. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go back and comment on any videos you haven't commented. Like any videos you haven't liked. Leave any comments and questions you have on any videos that you may have comments and questions on subscribe if you are if you are not a subscriber and thank you guys so much for watching this series i really really appreciate the support that you've given and i will see you guys next time bye